everyone doing? All right. My name is uh, Jamie Stevens. I uh, own a small company here in Brantford called Brant Now. Anyone here ever heard of that at all? Three people, that's awesome. Marketing's really working, that's great. Some of you guys uh, might recognize me. I emceed this event last year. Anybody recognize me from that at least? There we go. All right. <laughs> now there's a couple things different from last year when I emceed. Does anybody recognize anything different about me at all? Oh, hey, smart. There's actually two differences from what I emceed last year. So, who's yelling Toka? That's awesome. There's two differences, actually. Two differences. One, I lost 20 pounds. It was last month. It's actually a diet. I'm not sure you guys have heard of this before. It's called the food poisoning diet. It's really easy. You go down to the Kelsey's down the road. Oh, they didn't sponsor the show, did they? Okay. You order the chicken parmesan. And in about five days, 15 to 20 pounds, melt right off you. Actually, they don't really melt. <laughs> it's more of a forced evacuation. The other major difference, obviously, is I'm not wearing a toga. And the reason I'm not wearing a toga, to be honest with you, is I was scared to wear the toga again this year. But you older ladies, especially a couple of the ladies at the back, too, at the door, they're, they're actually the worst. But some of you older ladies, naughty, like naughty. Dirty. Dirty, yeah, you know. You know, right here in the front, she knows. You probably lifted my toga up. I was walking, you're lifting it up? You're asking me to show you my package? I had this one lady follow me around the whole night, offer me 50 bucks to lift it up. 50 bucks, so I took it. I took it, we went in that back corner. And I was pissed off because when I counted that cash later, she came up short. <laughs> if I had taken half, half of the propositions I had last year, I would have gave a whole new meaning to the term Rock of Ages. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. 